Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome back to Subnautica, trying to find the entrance to a square building. Well, there it is. That wasn't too hard now, was it? Well, don't lose yourself in the music the moment. You better never let it go. One shot. Do not miss your chance to blow, etc. You you get the joke. Now the prawn suit can function on land. It just doesn't like it sometimes. I think prawn suit on lag is one of the prawn suit on land is one of the buggier things still left in the game. But you know, that's fine. Prawn suit on land helps us with this. An entire cluster of ion cubes. It'll be useful to have this many ion cubes very soon. I'll actually chuck one of the cubes into this gate too. So we do have a quick way back to the surface. Not that I need to go back to the surface right now. And this door requires purple tablet to get to blue tablet. Right. That means I'll have to take another trip back to my Cyclops, because I keep being dumb and not grabbing my purple. And prawn suit on land bug. It will not move. Except via grappling ceiling. Told you it was one of the buggier things left in the game. I think if I enter water and back onto land that'll fix it. But oh boy. This this suit sometimes. Okay, back into the free movement of the water. And free movement on land. Jeez. I think it's because I didn't let the suit crouch down to let me in it. But if that's really all it takes to... And it's stuck. Man, I love this thing. Isn't it just great? Another place where I need a purple tablet. Okay. I need two purple tablets in here. Conveniently, that's the amount of purple tablets I have. Oh, I can walk again. Thank god. Oh cool, there's a skeleton of a reaper down here. Oh cool, there's a skeleton of a reaper down here. I'm not surprised these things couldn't survive an environment like this. It's uh, pretty warm for their regular skin. Yep. They are ill-suited to hot environments. Data seems to suggest it was forced down here by events out of its control, i.e. the alien species that lived on this planet kidnapping it to do research. Anyway, with purple uh, good old tablets back in tow, I can use purple tablet to get to blue tablet. Make sure to scan it first, just in case I need to make more. Oh, hello friend. To me. You're what's down here, aren't you? Well, I'm heading down anyway, so I guess I will come to you. Alien Thermal Plant. 
So this is how they power a whole planet worth of facilities. And I've just learnt about a primary... 1.4 kilometers below the surface is a primary containment area as opposed to the secondary one we were at before. And we've just learned how to make our own ion-based power. Now, thing is, the ion batteries require gold and silver and ion cubes, obviously. If only I had had the forethought to bring a crap load of silver and gold with me. But there's no way I would think ahead like that. You guys know me. I am an absolute dunce. Of course I came down here with regular power only. Why would I think ahead to obtaining a blueprint? Wow, you really gave me such little credit to think that I wouldn't have thought ahead in a game that I have played several times before? You think I wouldn't be prepared to make these ion batteries? And not only those ion batteries, but ion power cells as soon as I could? Huh. Well, I can't believe you discredited me. It's not like I purposely discredited myself to make you think that way. I will admit I thought ahead, but I also didn't think ahead to grab exact numbers of how much of each material I'd need. Oh well. What? What do you mean my fire suppression system just turned on? I wasn't in the room where the button for that is. What? You, you have to press a button to turn on the fire suppression system, if you think ahead and installed the fire suppression system. But... I... I wasn't in the room with the button. But also... Hey, you. You. Yeah, you on my tail. Uh, I'd like to have a little chat. It's called Get the Hell Off My Ship. Thank you. Anyway, with that said and done, it's time to go as deep as I can with my Cyclops. Or technically not as deep as I can with it, but as deep as it's reasonable to take it. Honestly, I'd say it's pretty reasonable to leave it in this area, but I can take it a little further down with me. But it starts getting highly impractical when you're driving the Cyclops through a hole like this, and then you've got to turn it around afterwards. Honestly, why would you do this? Not to mention, this kind of puts it in danger of the second, or technically third, but second, sea dragon. Because the sea dragon lurks just out there, over that lava lake. And it's not entirely impossible for him to hit here. Oh, hi. Um, what's up? I am what you seek. Want to help you. You want to help me, huh? Well, that's interesting. 
thank you. I could really use some help, actually. Did another one of those things just latch on the Cyclops? I swear I heard one of those leeches. I knew it. You, get off my ship. Get off. Get off. I can't believe that worked the way it did. But also, yeah, this is why I should have left the Cyclops back in the safer upper area. It might end up power drained by the time I get back to it, and that would not be good. Then I'd only have, like, my three backup power cells to run it off of. Kinda weird that the primary containment facility is further in the lava than the thermal plant, but you know, video game progression. It had to be this way. Also, I've taken a pretty straightforward path over to it, considering there's meant to be a leviathan around here to stop me. Where did he go during that cutscene? Kinda weird that he'd just let me through. But okay. Ow. Thank you, Warper. You know what? I was getting too cocky for my own good. I needed that. Genuinely, thank you, sir. Oh, you, um... I don't think you're meant to be in here. As in, I wasn't aware you could float in air rather than water. How much damage was done to my suit? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I definitely need to repair that. Anyway, with such repairs done, insert blue tablet. And now I can make it further in. Although I do think I need to make a second one. Uh, sure, I'll take my prawn suit up this ramp, but won't take it much further considering bugginess. Everything's terminated. The program's terminated. The live specimen's terminated. You sure about that? I feel like there might be a live Emperor egg still alive. Integrating new PDA data. Now we've learned about the specific enzyme it produces that'll help us. There's a preserved Sea Emperor Fleetus. <sighs> Ancient Blade. Strange carving that oddly uh, is similar to the earthen symbol of yin and yang. A statue. A circular object. A rudimentary tablet. Alien technology. An empty case, because why not? An unusual box. An organic matter particulator, apparently. Tracking implant. And an alien building block. You know what I find the most interesting? The empty case isn't actually empty. It's nanobots. Now this facility has several gates. You know, so I can come back here fairly easily later. In fact, I will need to make use of that. 40... 40 different eggs, huh? Sea Emperor Leviathan Research... 
Yeah, that checks out. Ah, I do need to make a second blue tablet. Luckily, I should be able to craft that fairly easily. Should. Being a keyword. Ooh, hi, it's uh, this system. Ventilation control. Inflow and outflow. I say in reverse order. But, what this is... I'll scan that guy from a distance. He appears to be stuck, but I don't trust it. Uh, it's purpose... Uh, it's more to patrol and repair than meant as a fighter. Anyway, uh, point is, what we learned from these vents is the peepers going in and out are uh, as part of a system that was meant to deploy the cure, which technically it succeeds at, but doesn't do well enough to cure the planet. There simply was not enough Enzyme 42 for that. Okay, look, a rudimentary map of the facility. Anyway, with all the gates in here opened, it's about time I get back to the Cyclops and make that tablet. Oh, I almost forgot. There is one more upgrade I want to make. Uh, not that locker. Not that locker. Wiring kit and two polyanethine. I need I needed one more kyanite crystal. Oops. Well, never mind that thing I was about to say. Moreover. I have to make blue tablet, which also requires kyanite. I should have known. There should be some kyanite down here that I can access. Hopefully some not within the range of the sea dragon or the adult one. Because I'm pretty sure these small guys, or at least some of them, are juvenile sea dragons. Now this is an upgrade that's going to be real useful while I'm down here. It'd be useful to also get the prawn suit version, because I can get a version for the prawn suit. But, I sorta physically cannot do that. Because A, I didn't have the materials, and B, uh, I need to be at home base for that. But, that is the Cyclops Thermal Reactor, meaning I gain power as long as I park this thing near some lava. Huzzah! Let's shift her to be directly next to this lava waterfall. Yeah, she's at 100% power. Even though I've done crafting in it and everything. Good old Lepidon. You've served me well. Seriously though. It's about time I finish this off. Oh hey, there's the sea dragon. Sup buddy. I was wondering where you were this whole time. So you're not gonna... Uh, it shot a fireball. Yeah, that thing literally breathes fire. But also, it's very 
physically close, which is a lot scarier. The physical closeness was way scarier than the fireball ever was. Jesus. I'm surprised how little damage it did, honestly. Whew. And... Just like that, uh... I've already undone all the damage it did. Say, you're not as glitchy as most of the enemies in this game, are you? Where you can physically swim through things? Actually, this would be a really good time to scan it, if I can. Oh, why can't I? I can scan it. It got stuck. <laughs> I have never scanned a sea dragon in the flesh. Oh, but it got stuck because it tried to follow me. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> uh, and with that, with the sea dragon leviathan scanned, and one more door to enter before I can potentially cure my disease. Both in terms of the story and the spectacle, I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye.